I had no idea. It absolutely kind of blew my mind. It's one of those things where I thought, of course you can do this. How have I not done this? Why am I not doing this? If the Peter McKinnon didn't know about this, then maybe a lot of you are also unfamiliar with this technique in Lightroom. I'm talking about using a series of masks, not just one or two, to literally transform the light in your photos. And in this video, I want to share with you two examples of how you can apply this method on your own photos so that essentially it doesn't matter what weather conditions conditions or lighting conditions you had at the time of taking the photo because after you're done with this video you can make the light do whatever you want it to do. So in this first photo the light is very even and dull throughout the photo. The foreground is actually way too bright and I would want to have a bit more light on the mountains especially this part of the mountains right here. Besides that I would want to create a little bit more separation between my girlfriend and the background here. So the idea with this method is that we want to add light to areas where we want to draw the attention to and reduce light from the other areas. The only thing I've done so far to this image is adjusted the exposure a bit and then tweak the highlights and the shadows a little bit. So first off I want to take care of the foreground here because it's way too bright and it draws way too much attention and I'm going to darken that using a linear gradient. So selecting linear gradient and pulling it up while holding shift will make sure that the linear gradient is nice and horizontal. And I'm gonna drop the exposure, drop the highlights and drop the whites and also drop the clarity. And every time I'm decreasing the exposure, I'm also decreasing the temperature just to make things look a little bit more natural. And I'm gonna draw another linear gradient at the very bottom and again, drop the exposure a little bit, highlights, whites and clarity and again drop the temperature a little bit as well. All right next I want to bring attention to the leading line in this image which is the trail here and I'm gonna do that first by darkening the areas around the leading line so the grass on both sides here. I'm gonna do that by creating a brush mask and just brushing over the grass here and we can be a little bit rough like so and then I'm just going to decrease the exposure again decrease the highlights, decrease the whites, and again, drop the temperature a little bit, not too much here. And then I'm gonna create another brush mask and brush over the trail. Notice that I'm not using 100% flow because I want to be very subtle doing this, otherwise it's going to look very unnatural. And I wanna make sure that I'm not going all the way to the bottom of the frame here because I've just darkened this so I don't wanna brighten it again. So I'm just brushing until where that gradient of dark to light is. And of course I want to draw attention to this area so I'm increasing the exposure, increasing the highlights and increasing the clarity. And I'm just going to increase the temperature a little bit as well. Another thing I want to accentuate in this photo is the light coming in from the right of the frame here. And you can tell it's hitting this part of the mountain and I wanna feature that a little bit more in this photo. So I'm just gonna create a radial gradient and draw it outside of the frame. It's very important when you're using this method that you look at the direction of the light that's present in the photo. And even if the light is pretty flat, you can still tell that there are highlights like on this rock here and shadows just behind it. And that always tells you what the direction of the light is. And when we're editing, we want to follow that direction that's already present in the photo because otherwise it's gonna look very unnatural. So I'm just gonna increase the exposure, decrease the dehaze, and that really makes the uh, light pop a little bit more, makes it look more natural again and I'm gonna increase the temperature as well. Now you can tell that this radial mask is also covering the grass here, which we don't really want because we don't wanna brighten this up. And a good trick to get rid of that and make it look natural is to subtract from that mask and then select a linear gradient. And I'm just gonna pull that over the grass here and then until we can see that it's not hitting the grass anymore. Next, I want to bring some more attention to the mountains here to the center of the frame. So again, I'm using a radial gradient, drawing it over the center of the frame here, increasing the exposure, increase the highlights a bit, and I'm gonna increase the clarity as well, and then increase the temperature a bit. And I'm going to counter that by darkening the shadow areas and the areas around this radial gradient I just made. I'm gonna use the brush to do that. So I'm just looking at where the light naturally was and I'm just emphasizing that. And then I'm gonna drop the exposure on those areas, increase the contrast, drop the highlights a bit, maybe drop the exposure just a little bit more. And I'm gonna decrease the temperature as well. And I just wanna add a little bit more light to the center of the frame there because that's really where the focal point of this photo is. 
So I'm just gonna draw another radial gradient, increase the exposure a little bit, increase the clarity, increase the shadows, and also increase the temperature a little bit. And the thing is with this that you wanna be very subtle, so little increases and just add more masks as you go. So I'm just gonna create another radial mask and then increase the temperature again, the same thing. All right, as you can tell, my girlfriend is not standing out from the background as much as I would want to. So let's try and select subject no subject detected let's then try and select object here i'm just gonna paint roughly over her and let's see what lightroom does that's a pretty perfect selection i would say i swear every time lightroom upgrades their masking technology it blows my mind how easy masking has become nowadays so i'm just gonna decrease the highlights here a little bit decrease the exposure maybe decrease the shadows and increase the clarity. And lastly, I want to darken this part of the sky here. And I'm gonna do that by creating a select sky mask. And again, Lightroom has done a very good job selecting the sky. But what I usually do with these select sky masks is click subtract and then select linear gradient and then draw a linear gradient from the bottom up. And what it's going to do is just gonna make that select sky mask a lot more smooth and gradual. And it's just gonna look a lot more natural. So I'm just gonna darken the sky and I'm just gonna add another linear gradient from the left here. All right, let's have a look at the before and after. And it's pretty cool that we can take a rather flat looking image that was lacking focus and a bit of... Oh! Yeah, exactly. And then turn it into something that has a lot more attitude and dimension. This next photo taken in Japan has so much more potential to be a more interesting shot. And I don't know if it's still cool to use this term, but with this method, we can make this photo a lot more um, cinematic. So I wish the light from the restaurant was lighting up my subject here a little bit more. So let's try and select subject. And Lightroom has done a pretty good job again, but you can see it's missed a few parts here. So I'm just gonna click add and then select objects and then just roughly paint over the umbrella. So that's done a pretty good job again. And notice that I'm not selecting this part of the umbrella because it is actually catching light from the restaurant here and I don't wanna brighten that up even more. So I'm just gonna increase the exposure, increase the shadows and increase the clarity. And then I'm gonna increase the temperature as well. So next I want to increase the brightness and the light of this restaurant here. So I'm just gonna create a radial gradient and draw it outside of the frame and then increase the exposure, increase the whites a little bit, the highlights and decrease the dehaze. And then I'm gonna increase the temperature as well a little bit. Throughout this image, I'm going to increase the temperature on the areas that I'm brightening and decrease the temperature on the areas that I'm darkening. And that's just to emphasize this color grade that I have here. So the color grade is using a combination of warm and cool tones. And I want to keep that color grade and emphasize it a little bit. And again, this method is all about bringing attention to areas where we want it to be and drawing attention away from areas where we don't want it to be. So I'm gonna start by darkening a few areas and especially the bottom of the frame here with a linear gradient, decreasing the exposure, decreasing the highlights, the whites, and decreasing the clarity, and then also decreasing the temperature. And I'm gonna create another linear gradient from the left of the frame here. Again, decreasing the exposure, the highlights, the whites, and the clarity, and then dropping the temperature. I'm going to add another linear gradient at the top here. And again, decreasing the temperature, the highlights, the whites, and the clarity. All right, next I want to work a little bit more on the restaurant here. So I'm gonna create another radial gradient and draw it from the bottom here. And I'm gonna increase the clarity, increase the exposure, increase the temperature again a little bit. And then another radial gradient, and then I want to emphasize the light hitting the ceiling here and the floor here as well. So I'm gonna create a brush mask and just brush over these areas and then increase the exposure, increase the clarity and increase the temperature a bit as well. So I would want that the light of the restaurant is brightening up this side of the subject a little bit more. So I'm gonna do that by creating a radial gradient, drawing it like so. And then of course this radial gradient is going to also affect this area here, which I don't really want. I just want it to affect this area of the subject. So what I'm gonna do is subtract a linear gradient 
and then I can increase the exposure, increase the clarity, increase the whites a little bit and increase the highlights. And then of course, increase the temperature as well. And you can tell it's only affecting this area, the side of the subject here and not so much the area here. All right, let's have a look at the before and after. And that's a pretty huge difference, right? And it's so cool that just applying these masks has made such an upgrade to this photo and really made it a lot more cinematic. Of course, the color grading that I did in this shot also helps with that cinematicness cinematicness and if you want to learn how to color grade your photos in Lightroom definitely go check out this video next. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!